Hey everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. Ryan here with Alan. We're gonna talk about a new product that is launching today. This is the Crucial MX100 SSD. So give me an idea, what is unique or interesting or different about this particular drive? All right, so uh, Crucial came out with a, a uh, M550 a while, a while ago. Yeah, not right? too long ago. That's kind of their premium drive right. that they're gonna offer. And the MX100 is supposed to replace the old M500. Okay. Which was previously a like their high end. So drive. this is more of a mainstream segmentation yes. for SSD. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like odd to talk about SSDs that way still because we've pegged so much of the SATA six bus. But this is right. in terms of pricing wise in the mainstream level. Uh, pricing wise, so they did they did a few tweaks. There's going to be three capacities of this: uh, 128, 256, and 512. Okay. Uh, whereas the M550 is available in all sorts of other stuff like M SATA and everything else. This is only going to be available in two and a half inch. Oh, okay, so no M SATA, no M.2. Nope, all you get is two and a half inch. You get a little uh, adapter plate to go in a nine millimeter. Okay, slot converts in the laptop. from seven to nine. Yep, Okay. And, and that's all you got, pretty much, is those three capacities. Now, two of those three capacities, the higher two, 256 and 512, are 16 nanometer flash. The 256 and the 512 use 16 nanometer flash, but Correct. not the 128. Not the 128. Is that just, why would they choose to do that? Uh, probably just really pricing. Okay. Um, they're trying to, you know, because you have such a small amount of flash, then the cost per gig versus the total amount of money you're just so what, spending on the drive is... What, the, what flash does the 128 use? The old 20 nanometer. So the same 20 nanometer was in the M500? That's in the M500 and the M550 as well. Okay, yeah. okay. So what, what controller is in this? Is this... So this is the same Marvell controller that's in the M550. It's a very long part number, but it ends in, uh, it's Marvell <laughs> 88SS9189. Okay. So. The, the long and short is that's the same controller that's in the other current generation model. Okay. All right. Does the flash changeover modify performance at all? Uh, well, okay, so we tested the 512 gig model. Okay. That's what they sent for a sample. Now, that happens to be the model with the best specs. Okay. And those best specs are actually very close to the M550. So it performs very close to okay. the, uh, all of the capacities of the M550. Now, the trick is, if you go and you look at the individual specs of this drive, uh, when you get down to 256 and 128, the write speeds fall off very quickly. So the write speeds for 256 goes down to 330, down from 500. What causes that? Is it actual flash channels? Yeah, it's, the it's, number, it's the number of dies present. Okay. So it's, uh, even though it's 16 nanometer and you would think that they have crammed more memory onto the die, they haven't, they just made the die smaller. Okay. Okay, right. makes sense. Um, so, but the die itself, the structure is very similar. Like the interface is similar to the 20 nanometer stuff. It's just smaller right. internally, right? So even though we've only tested the 512 gig version, where does its performance kind of stack up against those other crucial lines? It's actually very similar to the M550s from what we've seen on the 512. And, and the catch for that is I think it's going to lead to most people, if you're going to go for this particular model for the, for the uh, MX100, you might as well be going for the 512 if you want good performance, because that's the one that's going to perform well. Because you're, we're, because we don't have the 256 gig model yet, we're just kind of estimating that the performance drop off will be. Well, we don't have it, but even by their own specs, they say it writes at 330 versus 500, so it falls off. Okay, that's pretty you know, significant. That's a pretty big cut, and then down to 128 gig model, it drops down to 150. Hmm. Okay. So the writes fall off right. significantly as you go down in speeds or in uh, in capacities, um, but. Well, we can say that the big bonus for this guy compared to the uh, M550 or anything else for that matter yeah. is the fact that the 512 gig model is $225 even on Crucial's own website. So before, it, it, as we record this, it hasn't shown up on Newegg, it hasn't nope. shown up on Amazon, but it's on Crucial's own website. It's yep. selling, the 512 gig model is selling for $224.99, yep. which is what, 43, 44 cents? Yeah, that's like 44 cents a gig. And then the 256 gig model, also with the 16 nanometer flash, is 43 cents a gig, 110 bucks for 256 gig. $110 for a 256 gig. And even though that, it, that is going to be lower performance than this 512 gig model, yes. it's probably still going to be pretty it's gonna good, be good for consumers. The, yeah, the reads are still very good. The reads still basically peg the serial ATA interface right. as far as sequential to go. Uh, the random performance looked good. It was just that the writes are going to be limited on those smaller models. Okay. Um, but still, as far as cost per gig, like that's a lot of thing that, that we tend to harp on like on the podcast right. is right. you just go for something with decent performance, like for your laptop, for example. Decent performance, but then aside from decent performance, go for cost per gig. Worth, and, noting, worth noting here, they did not create a one terabyte version of this drive. No. Which is 
upsetting to me personally because of that cost per gig, right? If we're getting 43 cents per gig, seeing a one terabyte version of that would be awesome. Now we pointed out before we recorded, eh, if you've got a desktop machine, you can get two 512s and put them in a RAID because, zero and you've got your one terabyte of capacity. And not only that, now you're doubling. You yeah, know, doubling performance as yep. well. So you can get for what, $450, mm -hmm. you can have a one terabyte. terabyte of performance, but RAID zero performance levels. Yeah. Right, so potentially doubling your reads and writes or close to it. Right? It's pretty close when you do that, yeah. Um, I think the reason they're not doing a one terabyte is, well, one part would be that they want this to be more of a, just a, not a enthusiast part. Right. They were pretty clear they're on the press call. They're trying to keep even. the segmentation. Yeah, yeah they there. want segmentation. So if you, uh, let's see if actually, well, we know that the M550 is available in one terabyte. Yes, it is. Yep. Um, so yeah, they want some kind of segmentation, okay. and not only that, but we haven't seen anything with 60 nanometer dies stacked so many per package that you can get one terabyte, right? Okay. So they're dealing with, like, this is the first 60 nanometer stuff we're seeing as far as SSD products mm -hmm. coming out. Um, so as far as their yields and stuff like that go, they're only going to want to put so many in a package because mm -hmm. the, the more you stack in there, now you have a bad package after production, and now you just burned eight dies. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, that's pretty much all the information on the MX100 you could need. But we would encourage you to go to PCPer.com. We have the full review there that Alan has posted today. Mm -hmm. It has all the benchmarks and obviously the pricing and links over to the Crucial website if you want it. Uh, I imagine that when it hits Newegg and Amazon, it'll probably be at that pricing level. And right. obviously the hope is we even see it less than that. I would hope. Break that 40 cent per gigabyte barrier. I'd like to see it. It's funny you're saying 40 because usually it's the 50 cent was the right. barrier well, well, until now, you just said 40, Right, basically. now that we broke 50, it's time to move on to 40. <laughs> we got to keep, keep getting less expensive. So check out the review over at PCPer.com, guys. Thanks for watching.